that. Today I'm going to be doing a story time with my hair. Basically with my fairy, this is a story time about my other fairy. So my other fairy, either yesterday or the other day, very, very late at night, um, he passed away. Now the reason why um, is because he was, well, he was very old. He, I think they lived to be at least 10 or about 10 and he was like seven or eight. So he was pretty old. Uh, now, <clears throat> he was very overweight. He had diarrhea. Uh, we didn't think he was going to go like this. We th- he thought it, we thought he was going to go like a healthy, a healthy, maybe a healthy weight. And, uh, I don't even know if you guys can see. A healthy weight and no diarrhea at all. But he went with kind of all the bad things, um, and she's gonna be super lonely, cause they've been with each other since she was, I don't even know, cause we adopted them together, so, and we adopted them like, three years ago, something like that, and she was two, she's, she's five, and they were two years apart, so he was seven, seven or eight. So, anyways, um, she is, but he was blind as well. He was just not the greatest, you know. He could have been way better than he was. She's gonna try to eat my phone. Thank you. Um. Just kind of everything happened that we didn't want to happen. And you see, he was a very good, a very good um, ferret. And I didn't cry because I was expecting it. Oh, you okay? I didn't cry because I was expecting it. Don't you poop? Um, I was expecting it because of his shape. I was taking him out because I was cleaning their cage. And he had diarrhea and urine all over his underside. He could barely walk. I, he was so overweight that he could, he, he, his front, his back legs were like, I'm not going to show you on her. They were like this. They were in bad shape. He could not walk. So, we should have euthanized him, yes, I'm going to get a lot of hate on this video, but at the time when we did see he was getting this bad, we couldn't, we couldn't afford it. So, hi, Yuki. Now we can pretty much afford it in case we need to euthanize her because it's December, my mom will get her Christmas bonus sometime this month. But she's doing fine. She's she does she does need to gain a little bit of weight, but she's just been going up and down weight for some reason. So yeah, I don't know what her problem is, but she is a sweet hamster. When we got her, she used to bite. She used to bite like crazy. If you see now, she's just she's really sweet. Poor she's you won't be able to see her brother. Until she goes to give her some tummy ribs. She's, I feel like she's really sad. She, when we took him out, she was climbing all over the cage. She was, she was looking for him. It was quite, quite sad. But. And I know this was a short video, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I, you know. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and um, so you never miss another video. And if you guys know any suggestions of what we should do with her to let her to, you know, because she's, she's looking for him, it's really sad. But if you guys know any suggestions to, um, to help her with her, uh, separation anxiety she does get kind of rowdy
which is separated, you okay? But I just hope that she doesn't get too bad. I hope she doesn't go like he does. I hope she goes uh, at a nice, peaceful age, um, not suffering, not overweight, not underweight, no diarrhea. I don't want her to go like a mess. Like he was in horrible condition. I swear. And you can't blame us. I mean, some people would look like those videos. And, like, and he used to bring them to the vet. Yeah, we didn't because at the time when he started getting very obese, we couldn't afford it. I mean, she she was underway. She was underway when he started getting very fat. But she's gained weight. She's gained like a pound or two since then. But he was like 10 pounds, maybe, no, I'd say 7 pounds, which is, I feel like it's very overweight for her. Well, she's gonna fall asleep, honey. She's gonna fall asleep. No, she's gonna fall asleep with me. I hope she doesn't actually die because this is sad. Two deaths in a few days. And he died on a Sunday, which is the day of rest. Um, at least in my religion, it is the day of rest. Um, my guinea pig went on a Sunday, too. But, just hope she doesn't go today. No, no. She's like, I'm trying to sweep. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Give me advice on what to do with her. Um, since she does have separation anxiety right now, she's not being anxious, but she was actually going to sleep, but she just woke up for some reason. Anyways, bye.